Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. In today's video, let me show you three events that can change the LA frequencies in a population. LA frequencies in the population may change due to natural selection, genetic drift, and the founder effect. There is usually a variation in a population. Due to this variation, individuals in this population have unequal chance to survive and reproduce. Some individuals have beneficial alleles, which allow them to adapt better to the environment. They have a higher chance of surviving and reproducing. They are said to have a selective advantage. For example, in this population of fish, those with the red color allele can camouflage better. They are not spotted so easily by predators, huh? so they have a higher chance of surviving and reproducing. They can pass these beneficial alleles to the offspring. Those fishes with a white color allele are said to have a selective disadvantage. They are being eaten by predators much more easily, so they have a lower chance of surviving and reproducing. Over time, the allele frequency of the red color allele in the population increases, and the allele frequency of the white color allele decreases. Genetic drift is defined as a process of change of genetic composition in a population due to random or chance events rather than natural selection. It is not due to beneficial alleles which give some of the members selective advantages and the ones that give some of the members selective disadvantages. For example, in this fish population, the color does not make a difference to their survival and chance of reproduction. One day, some of the fish are caught by humans. By chance, a lot of red color fish are removed. Most of the individuals left in the habitat are yellow. Now, the alley frequencies of these color alleles have changed. As time passes, you can expect the alley frequency of yellow color to keep increasing and red will decrease. But it doesn't mean that having the yellow allele is beneficial, this is purely a chance event. The effect of genetic drift in a large population is usually negligible, as there are so many alleles in the gym poke. In small populations, however, it predominates. Some alleles may even disappear altogether. The bottleneck effect is an extreme example of genetic drift that happens when the size of a population is severely reduced. For instance, in this population of flowers, the allele frequency of both pink and blue alleles are 0.5 in the beginning. A natural disaster occurs and kills most individuals and leaves behind a tiny, random assortment of survivors. The alley frequencies are now very different from those of the population before the event. In some cases, some alleles may be missing entirely. Again, small populations are more susceptible to the bottleneck effect. This happens when the establishment of a new population is by a few founders who only carry a small fraction of the total genetic variation of the parent population. For example, a small number of individuals colonize a new place which were previously uninhabited by their species. Let's say we have a population of butterflies on an island. The alley frequency of pink is much higher than blue. One day, a group of butterflies migrate to a new island where they were previously not found. In this group of founders, there are more blue butterflies. Then, in the new population established on this new island, the alley frequency of blue color will be much higher than pink which is not the same as the parental population. That's all for today. If you think my videos are useful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me at the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.